Okay, I got it together. There's the uh, flywheel and clutch. There's the coupler hubs in the middle, and there's the forklift motor. Here's the 12-volt uh, golf cart battery. I'm going to run it on 12 volts. When I touch those two uh, uh, wire, thick wires over there together, it's going to run. Okay, here we go. Look at the power it's got after I turn it off. So when driving the car, you can just get it a little blip. And then uh, let the clutch out and let the power of the flywheel get you in motion. Okay, here we go. I'm going to run it. I'm just going to show the flywheel back here, kind of a close-up of it. It seems to be spinning pretty true. And uh, when the transmission is mounted, it's going to have a spline going into that shaft. So the tr transmission is going to support the flywheel and the clutch assembly too. But right now it's just kind of dangling off the back. So next thing is I'll mount it to the transmission. Okay, to mount the transmission, first I'm going to put the uh, motor and the clutch assembly upright into a five gallon bucket. Okay. Okay, here goes. Here's the transmission. It's not that heavy. It's all alloy. Okay, it's almost in. There, it looks flush now. Okay, I got the four bolts tightened right here. Okay, now I'm going to just tip it down onto this table over here. Okay, there it is. Okay, it's in gear right now. That feels like neutral. Oh.
Well, that's about as fast as it goes with a transmission mounted to it. One more time, this is uh, it's in neutral. Okay, that's only 12 volts, so anyways, got that far.